The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, King Atchcook, last of the Mohicans. Time for top gone. Words, no good. This answer, and this. With these, we drive out white man. With these, we take their scalp. <laughs> it was great Manitou, brought bad winter. It was snow and an ice, that drove off animals, not pale face. Thunder Sky once great chief, mighty warrior. Now grows old, afraid like woman. Empty belly sound loud, but long rifles of white men speak louder. Did Thunder Sky not take war path? Oscaroras make new chief. With heart of eagle, not pigeon. I don't think that's such a smart idea, Great Bear. Thunder Sky has been a good leader of the Tuscaroras. White men have no right talk at Council of Tribe. I wasn't talking to the Council, Great Bear. I was talking to you. Thunder Sky, I hope you don't mind our dropping in on you this way. Hawkeye and his friend Chinnaskook is a Thunder Sky many times. This time should not come. Bad winter. We hear of many empty bellies here. That's why we come. To help our red brothers. Red brothers help selves. Plenty food and sediments, plenty powder, rifle. We take Tuscarora live. Consulates for men, not papoose. Let's look at it another way. Sure, you'd get some of us, but for every one of us, our long rifles would kill a dozen of you. What would be the good of that? White brother has plans. There's plenty of food and supplies at the Winslow Brothers Trading Post. They'd be glad to trade with you for furs. Need furs trade with Winslow. White man chase away animal, no fur. I'll talk to Winslow, arrange credit. Give you food now to tide you over later. When you do have furs, you can pay him back. Winslow, like all pale face, no trust Indian, no give food. I'll give him my word. Hawkeye speak with straight tongue. Winslow trust. We wait for three sons. If Hawkeye not keep word, Tuscarora put on war paint.
did not kill. I did not kill. I'd like to believe you're running, dear, for your father's sake. It is true. You come in here and find the man dead and you with a sack of stolen rifles? I didn't steal rifles, yes, but not to kill. You steal? Man catch you? You kill man with his own gun? No, it was other man. What other man? Man who shoot pistol and run out. Well, I came in here right after the shot. I didn't see any other man. You run into woods before you come. Did your husband own this pistol, Mrs. Winslow? No. I don't know. Perhaps he had it in his stock. I don't know. I, I hate to bother you at a time like this, but would you come back to the settlement with us for the trial? Trial? Yes, your trial. For the murder of Matt Winslow. No. No, not white man's trial. They hang Indian. You guilty? You hang. Indian always guilty in white man's court. You kill me. And Tuscarora take warpath against white man. If I let you go, the white man will take the warpath against the Indians. Well, I'm sure you'll be all right at the end, Mrs. Winslow. If there's anything more I can do, you let us know. Well, I'll be fine. Thank you. prisoner for you, Fargo. Mm. This is Running Deer. Son of Chief Thundersky. Chief's son, huh? What are you holding him for? For trial. For murder. Who's? Matt Winslow. You don't say. So Matt's dead. Wait till the town hears about it. That's why I want your guarantee that he'll be safe here. I promised him a fair trial. When folks hear that an Indian kid murdered a white man, they'll get a rope ready so fast... No, not hang, no! If anything happens to this boy before a trial, we'll have a full-scale Indian war in our hands. Why'd you do it, kid? Why not kill Mr. Winslow? Uh, starting already. Lock him up quick. In here. Where are you men going? We, we just been talking to Mrs. Winslow. We want the Indian kid to shot her husband. Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard of any trial being held as yet. And there ain't gonna be. Because we're hanging them right quick. We're, yeah. I'm not so sure you are. Dana Bennett's the name. The murdered man was my partner. Now, look, Mr. Bennett. I brought Running Deer in. I don't know whether he's guilty any more than you do. But I do know I promised him a fair trial. What right did you have to promise a no-good redskin a trial of any kind? Red or white, he is man. How would you like it if some Indian tribe made you run the gauntlet? Not because you were guilty of anything, but just because your skin was white. And there's another thing that we must think of. If we don't prove to Chief Thundersky and the Tuscaroras that we know how to handle justice properly, we're going to be up to our necks in the biggest Indian war you ever saw. Don't want any Indian wars around here, Dana. How are you going to handle a trial here? We've got no judge. We can send to the capital for one. He can be here in a few days. All right, boys. It only means waiting a few days, and he'll hang anyway. If the Indians want a trial and make them any happier, let them have it. All right. All right. You're doing the right thing, Mr. Bennett. I hope so. Guess maybe Hawkeye was right about the trial, Dana. There isn't going to be any trial. What are you talking about? That redskin killed my partner. And I'm not taking any chances on a fancy talking judge from the Capitol setting him free at a trial. But you just got through telling the boys... Only that... because Hawkeye was right and the lynching would start up an Indian war. But I got another way figured. By the time that judge gets here for the trial, that murdering redskin running deer is going to be dead. How quick can you get to the capital? Two, three sons by horse and canoe. Four to six days round trip. I guess it'll have to do. Chief Thundersky only give us three sons to get food for trial. Yeah, I remember. One son already gone. Owner of trading post killed. Trial not for six sons. Maybe running deer hang. Hawkeye, how you keep tribe from going on warpath? You make it sound like a real heavy load. Well, even strongest man fall on trail. 
when load is too heavy. You get that judge here as fast as you can. I'll do the worrying for us at this end. I don't understand why you're so interested in the Indian boy, Mr. Hawkeye. He did kill my husband, didn't he? Well, that's something we won't know until after the trial, Mrs. Winslow. Perhaps you won't. I know. He said he heard another man in this room arguing with your husband. Matt never argued with anybody. Well, could there have been another man in the post that night? There are usually men in here at night. Traders, townspeople. How did he, he and his partner get along? Dana. They were like brothers. Why, those two men were... Why are you asking me all these questions? You know the Indian boy is guilty. What are you prying and spying about? Just trying to bring out the truth, Mrs. Winslow. Your husband left a pretty well stocked trading post. He must have come through the winter real well. Who's going to run it now? Why, Mrs. Winslow and me, of course. I brought some more supplies round back, Laura. I'll put them in the storeroom as soon as I find out what our friend here is so curious about. I came to see about a business deal for the Post, Mr. Bennett. What kind of deal? Well, the Tuscaroras need food and supplies pretty badly. They'd like to get them here. Have them come and get them. That's what we're in business for. Tell them we only want prime furs, though. They'll bring them in. If you don't mind waiting a bit. For what? Well, you know the kind of winter the Tuscaroras have had. They wound up without furs or food. They want food? Let them pay for it. Cash your furs in the bar head. But Dana, if the situation's like Mr. Hawkeye says, if these Indians are actually starving. Laura, you haven't been listening seriously to all this. Why can't we wait for a couple of months for payment, Dana? Have you looked at the books lately? Matt was a great guy, but a pretty soft businessman. Haven't 100 pounds to show for the business we've done. But Dana. And if that's not enough, have you forgotten so soon that it was an Indian who killed Matt? And a Tuscarora Indian to boot. You can tell your redskin friends they're not welcome at Winslow's. No, sir. I just don't like to see a man hang. Any man. Me not hang. I've only seen one before. But that was enough. The way the fella's eyes, and the funny little dance he did. No, sir. I do just about anything to keep from seeing another. Well, you tell me this. Because it's going to happen to you, kid. Sure as I'm out here and you're in that cell. You haven't had your dinner. No hunger. But I know kill Mr. Winslow. And Hawkeye gave word trial would be fair. And he lied to you, kid. Hawkeye's straight tongue. Lie? Why? To get you in there with no trouble. To save his own skin. He knew you'd hang. And you get fair trial. <laughs> fair trial. An Indian in a white man's court. Funny thing. I sure hate to see a man get such a raw deal. Yes, sir. Just can't stand to see a man hang like that. If I let you go, will you do something for me? If just tap me on the head. Not too hard. Just enough to make it look like you broke out. We do.
started running deer escape. I give him his food, and all of a sudden, there he was, out. He nearly killed me, too. It's all your fault. If you'd let us hang him, it never happened. That can't be helped now. Listen to me. I'll give 20 pounds of silver to the man who brings him back, dead or alive. If they shoot him, Chief Thunder Sky will take the war path. If he's not brought back and hanged, we'll take it. We'll wipe out the whole Tuscarora tribe if we have to, to find Matt Winslow's killer. Ten pounds we agreed for letting him go, wasn't it? Right. But it's a good thing I got a hard head. One thing I don't get, though. What's that? Why a man would let his partner's murderer escape. You don't have to get it. I have my reasons. Only thing wrong, should have been killed. Serpent, speak with two tongues. Hawkeye, speak with straight tongue. You say you're a friend to Tuscarora, and you take Running Deer back to the settlement to hang him. I took him back for trial to stop trouble between the Indians and the whites. What did man in jail say? He say Hawkeye lie, bring me to settlement to hang. I'm afraid it was the jailer who was lying. How did you get loose, anyway? He let me go. Why would the jailer do that? So I not hang. Maybe I figure there's another reason. Son, do not lie to father. He tell me he not kill white man. No more talk. We go. Take food, guns. All right, go ahead if you're so bent on putting on the war paint. But you're just going to run smack dab into an army of whites with long rifles just waiting for you. Then there'll be war to death. It doesn't have to be. Great Hawkeye have answer to this, too. If we can prove that running deer is not guilty and that the Tuscaroras are honorable and peaceful, there won't be a war. You'll get all the food and supplies that you need. Can you move a mountain? Yes, there's only one way. Take Running Deer back to the settlement and turn him over for trial. Make sure everybody's got enough powder and shot for 20 rounds. Anybody short of ammunition, have them get it from me. We'll be ready to march inside of an hour. We'll show those Redskins they can't go around killing whites. If the Tuscarora's in them. What do you make of that? What's the meaning of this? The Tuscaroras are bringing running deer back for trial. There ain't gonna be no trial. This Indian wants to stick his neck in a noose, we'll oblige him. Hey, Jenkins, there's a length of rope back there. Get it. Hold it up, Jenkins. I wouldn't be so hasty if I were you. The whole Tuscarora tribe is surrounding this settlement in war paint. You don't know what you're doing, Hawkeye. The whole town stirred up. There'll be a full-scale war right here in these streets. If there's a peaceful trial, there won't be. Trial? You can't hold these men back one hour, let alone days, waiting for some judge to get here from the Capitol. Who said we'd have to wait? This is Judge Holmes from the Capitol. Shall we get on with the trial? After hearing the shot, Mrs. Winslow, what did you do then? I ran into the main room of the post. That's when I saw him. Uh, go on, Mrs. Winslow. <laughs> Matt. Matt was, was there on, on the floor. <laughs> And that, and that Indian was standing over us. <laughs> was there anyone else in the room? No. Were there any weapons in evidence? Yes. 
Here's a pistol on the counter. Is this the weapon? Yes. Had you ever seen it before? No. Is there anyone else you could possibly think of that might have had a reason for taking your husband's life? No. Nobody. Nobody could have wanted to kill Matt. Thank you, Mrs. Winslow. That's all. Running, dear, you admit that you came to steal rifles? That Mrs. Winslow found you, just as she said? Yes. But I know Karen. I know Karen! That's all. Then you corroborate everything that the other witnesses have said. Well, I will say it looked that way when I came into the post. You found running deer as described? I did. And you saw no other men? No. Nope. I see. Uh, thank you. That'll be all. In view of the evidence given, the statement of the witnesses, and the complete lack of any evidence to the contrary, the court has no alternative but to find the prisoner, running deer, son of Chief Thundersky, guilty of murder as charged. It is, therefore, the sentence of this court that... Uh, Hold on a minute, Judge. There are two witnesses that you haven't called yet. I wasn't aware of that fact. You might ask the jailer who paid him to let Running Deer escape. The other witness is that pistol you have on your desk. What is this pistol to do with the witness? Someone owns it. And I'd say that the man who owns that pistol is the man who shot Matt Winslow. Now, if you'll notice, there's some very pretty silver filigree work on it. Every bit as good as this on Mr. Bennett's pistol. I'd say they were a matched pair. Why, they're identical matching pistols. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Bennett? Why should I have to explain? What reason would I have to kill Matt? I was thinking about that. The trading post has done pretty well this year, but there isn't much silver in the till. Now, if one partner was taking money out and the other caught him, that'd be reason enough. <laughs> I thank White Brother again for my life. Trust no can trust pale face. We'll remember. And the White Squaw, go Indian thanks, will pay many prime fur for trust you show us. It's the least thing I could do, Chief Thunder Sky, after having misjudged your son as I did. Looks like Mr. Hawkeye's taught all of us a lesson in justice and tolerance. Maybe I learned a little something myself. It's always good to know that men really want justice, whether it's a white man's court a red man's council. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.